Cecrops, traditionally considered the first king of Attica in ancient Greece, is a fascinating figure in Greek mythology. According to tradition, Cecrops succeeded King Actaeus, whose daughter, Agloros, he married. He is credited with instituting the laws of marriage and property, as well as a new form of worship. His influence and legacy in the early history of Attica are significant, and his story continues to capture the imagination of those interested in the ancient world. Cecrops is often depicted as a half-man, half-serpent creature, which adds to the mystique surrounding his character. This unique portrayal reflects the enigmatic nature of early Greek mythology and the blending of human and animal characteristics in the figures of ancient lore. The symbolism of the half-man, half-serpent image has been the subject of much scholarly debate, with various interpretations offered by different researchers of Greek mythology. One interpretation suggests that Cecrops' dual nature represents the duality of the human experience, the struggle between our higher, rational selves and our base, instinctual urges. This interpretation aligns with the idea of Cecrops as a lawgiver, as he is credited with establishing societal norms and regulations that govern human behavior. By embodying this dual nature, Cecrops serves as a symbolic representation of the human condition, grappling with the complexities of morality and governance. Another interpretation posits that the half-man, half-serpent depiction of Cecrops reflects a deeper connection to the natural world. In this view, the serpent symbolizes wisdom, healing, and transformation, while the human form represents intellect and consciousness. Cecrops' hybrid nature then becomes a metaphor for the interconnectedness of humanity and the natural world, highlighting the importance of maintaining a harmonious relationship with the environment. Regardless of the varying interpretations, Cecrops' role as the first king of Attica remains a central aspect of his mythological identity. His marriage to Agloros, the daughter of King Actaeus, further solidifies his place in the lineage of Attican rulers. The union of Cecrops and Agloros speaks to the interconnectedness of royal bloodlines and the continuation of dynastic power through strategic alliances and marital bonds. In addition to his marriage to Agloros, Cecrops is credited with instituting the laws of marriage and property in Attica. These legal and societal regulations reflect his role as a ruler and lawmaker, shaping the foundations of governance and social order in the region. The establishment of these laws demonstrates Cecrops' commitment to creating a structured and organized society, laying the groundwork for the development of Attica as a cohesive and functional community. Furthermore, Cecrops is attributed with introducing a new form of worship in Attica, further solidifying his influence as a cultural and religious figure. The specifics of this new religious practice are the subject of much speculation, with scholars examining the potential rituals, deities, and beliefs associated with Cecrops' reform. His efforts to reshape the religious landscape of Attica underscore his role as a visionary leader, seeking to instill a sense of spiritual unity and devotion among the inhabitants of the region.